Hi yarn bees, how are you? Today we are going to do the cardigan that everybody has been waiting for. Yay! Uh, I'm so glad that you guys liked the cardigans that I made and I'm honored to be able to give you this video. Um, for anybody who has never done a wearable before, you are going to be absolutely shocked at how easy this really is. It's all done in one piece. Yep, you heard me right. All in one piece. <laughs> so um, don't be afraid. Jump in and uh, you will be amazed that you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be so proud of yourself. Okay, um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need two different types uh, um, colors of yarn. Okay, you're going to need one solid and one variegated. Okay, I am going to use the Michaels brand Craft Smart Value, and this is the color off white. Shocking. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use Cookie Yarn. Isn't that beautiful? And the color is 46205. Okay. Uh, you can use any variegated. I, I'd like to use a thinner variegated. Okay. And then a little bit thicker um, uh, solid color. You can use whatever you want. You don't have to do like mix two colors together. You can just do it all in one. It doesn't really matter. This is a very versatile pattern. Okay. Then, oops, I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. Again, you can use a 5, 5.5. Depends on how tight you want the stitches. Okay. You're going to need, oops, a measuring tape. Okay. And you're going to need a pad of paper and a pen. Okay. All right, now this sweater goes by measurements. So this can be made for any size. All right, the multiples are gonna be 10 plus one. All right, so for the back, what you're gonna do is you're going to measure from hip to hip. All right, now this is not going to be um, exact, all right? Uh, because depending on the yarn you're using, the yarn could stretch, right? So you could do, say, 61 stitches, and it'll come out to be 64, right? So you got to kind of keep that in mind, right? If you're not using a, a stretchy type of yarn, if you're using something that has more uh, cotton in it, it's not going to have as much stretch, right? If you're using acrylic, it's going to give you more stretch, okay? So... You just have to play around with it. You'll know by the second row if it's too big. Okay. All right. Um, so my measurements are going to be 61. It's a little embarrassing, but yes, it's that's me. <laughs> okay. So don't worry about this number for right now. Um, we're just going to worry about the base for the moment. Okay, so go ahead and measure yourself. Do up a little diagram. Get your yarn ready, and I will meet you back here. Don't be nervous. It's okay. I'm right here with you. Okay, so you're going to get both of your yarns. You're going to put them together. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can either do your uh, whatever number you've got. You can either do that in a chain and then go back with double crochets. Or you can do a foundationless double, double crochet row. That's what I do. A lot of people don't like doing this, but I find that it is, it gives you more, um, more give, and it's um, not so tight. I find with a chain, 
uh, it can make your your project bow because it's tight um, so I don't like doing that although if you do the chain and then you do um, your double crochets in the back bump which I hate doing but um, if you do it like that then you go for it that'll give you a little more stretch um, but you do you you do however you want to do you don't have to do it this way if it's going to stress you out but I'm telling you this is this is the hardest part of the whole thing okay so we'll get it out of the way right at the beginning <laughs> okay so here we go now I do have a video on my channel that tells you how to do the foundationless double crochet so I'm not going to spend too much time on it but you're going to yarn over you're going to chain three okay you yarn over you're going to go into that first chain and pull up a loop yarn over go through that first loop okay you're going to hold on to this part right here so that you don't it doesn't tighten on you yarn over and finish your double crochet pull through two yarn over pull through two okay now you've done your first two double crochets okay do it again yarn over you're going to go through that bottom loop right there Okay, pull up a loop, turn over, pull up a loop, hold on to that piece right there, and finish your double crochet. Okay, now you've got three, this one does count, so now you've got your three double crochets. Okay, now you're going to do that for your whole row, for whatever number that you get. Okay, and I will meet you back here when I'm finished mine. Okay, so I've done my 61. Okay, now I'm an extra large to, no, or sorry, I wish I was an extra large. <laughs> I'm about a 1x to 2x, so I, 61 seems to be enough for me, but that may not be the case for you. <clears throat> so you you figure that out, that out a little bit. See, 61 for me gives me a little extra room. Um, you want to have like an inch or so on each side just so it's not too tight, unless you want it tight. Okay, now what you're going to do oops, is you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work. All right, I'm going to bring you in a little bit here. Okay, now you're going to start by doing a double crochet into that same stitch that your first chain is in. Okay, so you're going to go right in there, do a double crochet, and that's going to be your beginning um, and your end for most of the, uh, that like every second row, I believe it is. Okay, then you're going to skip one, go into the next, and you're going to do a V-stitch. Oops. So you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet back into that same stitch. Okay, so there's your V-stitch. Now you're going to skip one, go into the next one and do another V-stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain one, go back in and double crochet. Okay, now you go two V-stitches. And you're going to do this repeat all the way down to the end, except for the very last one. Okay, just do it to the to about here, 
and then I'll show you what to do at the end. For all you seasoned crocheters, you can just continue on. <laughs> okay, so you skip one, do your double crochet, chain one, go back into the, next, the same one, do your double crochet. Okay? And so there you go. I'm going to do that all the way down and I'll meet you down at the end. Okay, here we are at the end. You have two stitches left. Right here you've got your one double crochet and then you've got your ending double crochet. You're going to go to the top of this stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to do two double crochets in the top of that stitch. Okay, go back in there into the same one. Do another one. There you go. Okay, now you're going to chain two, turn your work, okay, now you're going to go and do a double crochet in between those two double crochets. Okay, just go right in the hole there. Oop, we have a fly. <laughs> um, you're going to go <clears throat> in between the space here. You're not going to go in here. You're going to go in between the big space. Okay. You're going to do one double crochet. Okay, now you're going to go to your next V stitch and you're going to do a V stitch. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that fly. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go in between that V stitch and you're going to do another V stitch. Oops, I'm trying to do this with looking through the camera. It's not working. Chain one, go back in, do your double crochet. Okay, so you're doing V stitches on top of V stitches. Okay, go to your next V stitch, go in the middle, do your double crochet. chain one and double crochet in the same stitch. Okay. Go to the next one. Do another V stitch. Okay. You're going to do that all the way down to the end, and when you're finished, I will see you there. Okay, I'm at the end. Now, I've got this one set of double crochets in the same space, and you're going to go right in between, right in the middle. Okay, not in here, but in this hole here. Okay. Now this stitch is very important because this is what's going to keep your edges straight. All right. Okay. So chain two. Turn your work. Okay. Go right back in to that same stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, so those end stitches are important ones to keep your your uh, project straight at the ends. Okay, now you're going to go back into the V-stitch again and do another V-stitch. 
And this is going to be your repeat for your whole sweater. Okay. Okay. And then you go into your next V stitch and do a V stitch. Your next V stitch, do a V stitch, and you keep on going to the end. And then when you're at the end, you're going to go back into that space right there, and you're going to do your double crochet. Okay? And that's how you're going to do the whole back of your sweater. Okay. Now, I'm for my sweater. I'm going to do 49, oops, 49 rows of V stitches. Okay. Give or take. It depends on how long you want your sweater. All right. So, um, just go and when you get to a, a, to a point where you kind of go, okay, I think that's how long I want. If you've got somebody there with you, get them to put it up to your shoulders and see how far down it goes. Okay? And if you want it longer or shorter, then you can either subtract or add the amount of rows that you want. Okay? So I will see you back here when I've finished my 49 rows. Okay? So just remember, just keep going into the V stitches. Okay? And I'll see you back when I'm done. Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm back. And I did 47 rows of V-stitches. Okay. It's too big for me to be, to have in the camera. So, <laughs> trust me, it's 46, or 47 uh, rows. Okay, now what you're going to do is... You're going to figure out, depending on like how many rows you have, um, or how many stitches you have this way, you're going to find try and find the middle of your um, of your the back of your sweater. <clears throat> okay, so what I do, bring it in. What I do is I count instead of counting the stitches, I count the V stitches. Okay, and then I go along and I, I try and figure out um, how many I've got and where the middle is. Now you may not have an even amount. Um, I actually haven't counted mine yet. <laughs> so I think I should do that. Uh, so figure out where the middle is. You may have one or two stitches in between. Um, and I'll, if I have that, um, I'll show you what to do. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've counted mine. Here's the middle. So I've got 14 stitches on each side and I have one left over. Okay, so that is going to be my middle. All right, so we're not gonna work in that stitch. So we're just gonna work in these two stitches going back. Um, if you've got um, like two extra stitches, Make sure that you you don't how do I explain this? You want to have a little space in between your sides, okay, to give sort kind of, um, a bit of a collar. Okay, so say you counted and you have two stitches in between. Okay. Go to the next two stitches. Okay, and those will be your starting stitches. Alright. I hope that makes sense. And then these two stitches won't be worked in. Okay. Um, so you're going to mark where your middle is. And then you're going to, whoops, you're going to fasten off your end. Okay, because we're going to go and we're going to work into the stitches in the middle. So we're going to cut and fasten off. Like that. Okay. 
Yeah, bring you out a little bit. All right, and then you're going to start again with your yarn. Oops, did I lose my yarn? You're going to do your slip stitch. Okay, now with this, what you want to do is you don't want to start in the V-stitch, okay? You want to start in that stitch right beside, okay? So this is my starting stitch. So you're going to start in, oops, if you can see that, not in the V. You're going to start right here. Okay, now put your yarn on. Okay, and slip stitch. Okay, so you see that? You're going to start right in there. And this is going to be, you know how it, um, on our rows we had our first two double crochets in the same stitch? That's where you're going to be putting that here. Okay, so you're going to chain up two, and then you're going to put another double crochet right back in that stitch. Okay, now you can go into that V-stitch, oops, lost my yarn there. Now you can go back into that V stitch or into that V stitch and do your V stitch. Okay, so you do double chain one, go right back into that V stitch and do another double. Okay, so now you've got your start, and then you do your V stitches all the way across until you get to that last stitch and you're going to put your two double crochets in the same stitch at the end. Okay, so you do your V-stitch and your V-stitch. Okay, keep going and doing your V-stitches. Okay, and that's how it's going to start looking. So then you're going to have your your one side of your sweater. So I hope that made some sense here. If it didn't, um, maybe email me and I'll see if I can explain it a little bit better. So basically that's your, your mark. Because for me, right here on both of these was 14 stitches. And I had this one left over. Okay, so that is going to be, a, one, that one I'm not going to be working into. Okay, so when you do your collar, it's going to come up and go around. Right, it will it won't be like, when you start your, your collar, it's, it won't be like this. It'll be more like this. Okay, I hope that made some sense. Okay. So you're going to do your V-stitches all the way across, and I'll meet, meet up with you when I get over there. Okay, so I'm at the end of this row. Now what you want to do, for, for those of you that are seasoned, that know how to do stuff like this, um, like sweaters and stuff like that, you can do, you do how you know best. But for people that don't know how to do wearables or that get really confused about um, certain parts of the sweater. This is how this part helped me. Okay, I've always found that when I go to do the side of the sweater, I either have one, uh, one or two rows either not enough or too many by the time. If I sit there and say, okay, I need 47 rows going down, I end up screwing up somehow. So I came up with this idea and it seems like it's tedious and oops, tedious and crazy, but it's what helps me. Okay, you're gonna get your stitch markers. Okay, now here's the row that we're finishing up. Okay, 
you're going to mark the this row that we're going into. Okay? So that way you know that that is the um, last row that we did before the shoulder piece. Okay? Okay. So now you're going to finish this row. You're going to do your V stitch. Okay, oops. Okay, now in this last, um, this last stitch, you're going to go into that stitch and you're going to do your two double crochets to end your row. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do one more row and then I'm going to show you how I keep track of what how many rows I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work. Oh. Ah, I've got too much stuff here. Okay. Okay. Now don't forget, you're going to put your double crochet into that last, or that uh, first stitch. Okay. And then you're going to go and start your V stitches. Whoops. Ugh, did that wrong. Okay, remember here's your your first space here that has your two double crochets. You're going to go in there, not up here. You're going to go in between the stitches. Holy Hannah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you're going to start your V-stitches again. You go into your V-stitch, do your double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and you go into your next V-stitch and you do this all the way across. Okay, and I'll see you when you get over here. Okay, so I'm on my last. You're going to go in between those two stitches, the two double crochets, to finish off your row. Okay, chain two, turn your work. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing and go back this way. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do now, um, on this side, okay, here's your mark, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this over. And you're going to find that space right there. You're going to match it up with this space here. Okay. So that you have both of those holes matched up. You're going to take your stitch marker and you're going to put it into those two holes. Oops. Come on. And there. Now it's marked. Okay, so now you don't have to worry about when you go to match up the sides, you're not going to have to worry about where your starting point is. And then this won't be all lopsided when you when you're finished this side. Okay, and then every row that you do, you're going to match up these holes where your stitches are. 
Okay. So, so okay. So now you're going to continue <coughs> going back and forth and back and forth. Okay. And as you do it, you're going to keep matching up the holes and putting a stitch marker in there. And it will keep this side together and you'll be able to keep track a lot easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to do a few rows and I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so I've done a few rows and uh, I just wanted to show you Oops, let's get you in here. Just wanted to show you this is what I'm talking about. Um, like just putting these all the way down. See, in between the stitches, you're going to find a gate, uh, a hole here. And on the other side, you're going to find another hole. So you're just going to match these up. Grab a stitch marker. Put it in there. Oops. Go to the next stitch. You're going to find the hole. Find the hole on this side. Match them up. And that's going to keep everything all straight and in, in line. And you're just going to do that all the way down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it just keeps it all in line so that when you get down to the end you're going to know exactly how many rows you need. Okay, so just continue on and uh, I will meet you when I am finished this side. Okay. Okay, so I'm finished this one side, the whole side, all the way down, and I've put all of my stitch markers in here, all the way down to the end. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to figure out, um, actually no, we're not going to do that yet. You're going to do the other side, okay? So. Here's, remember, here's your stitch marker to show the middle. So you're going to oops, add your yarn, wherever my yarn went. Okay. My hook. You're going to add your yarn to the very end here. Okay, going to join it. You're going to chain up two. You're going to go back in like we usually do. You're going to go in here and do your double crochet. Whoops. Let's try that again. There. Okay. Then you're going to start going into your V-stitches again. Okay. You're going to keep going until you get to the end. And you're doing the exact same thing as you did on the other side. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Okay, and you're going to go all the way to where you're supposed to stop. Okay, that'll be this V stitch, and then you'll go in here and you'll do your du two double crochets. So I'll do this and then I'll meet you back over there and I'll show you. Okay. So here I am at the end. I've just finished my last V-stitch. Bring you in. Okay. Now you're going to go into the next space right here. And you're going to do your two double crochets. OK. 
Okay. You're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. Okay. You're going to do your double crochet in that space right here. And you're going to do it, do this all over again. Okay. Now you're going to go and do your V stitches all the way across, just like you did on the other side. Okay. And then you're just going to go back and forth and back and forth. And as you're doing it, you're going to be putting your, your, um, oh my gosh, where are they called? <laughs> Stitch markers in the holes all the way down to mark, um, to mark where you are. Okay. So I'm going to finish my whole side and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're on the home stretch. Um, I've done both of my sides up uh, with all the stitch markers. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find your armholes, and then you're going to stitch up the sides, and then we'll get on to doing the arms. Yay! Okay, so i got both my sides all done. So you're going to pick a side, doesn't matter which side, and you're going to figure out how big you want your armhole. Okay, um, I would probably measure around your arm and, uh, and then give yourself a little bit more room so that when you're moving around it's not going to be too tight. Um, I like my armholes to be a little bit bigger so that I have some breathing room. So um, I, I sometimes I go about eight to nine stitches, like uh, stitch markers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is this one. And yeah, it's about nine inches. Yeah, okay. Uh, but you figure out, what you can do is you can take the stitch markers out, try the sweater on, see if it's too much room or not, not enough room, and, uh, and go from there. But I, yeah, I think I'm going to take out, uh, maybe I'll take out eight. No, I'll take out nine. This sweater's going to be for my sister, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I decided that. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take out as many stitch markers as you need to. Okay. It's three, four, five, six. Seven, okay, eight, and then you kind of look and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just try it on and see. All right, so once you figured out your eight, go to the other side <coughs> and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you just take out your eight on this side. Come on, come on. Okay, and now you've got your armholes all figured out. Okay. <clears throat> so now you're just going to stitch up the sides. Now you can stitch them up however you want, um, however it makes you um, feel the most comfortable. Um, 
and like whether you do a whip stitch, a match a stitch, a, like whatever, um, and just start from your first um, stitch marker and just go on all the way down. Okay. So I'm going to grab our yarn. I'm going to put it through both. Okay. Attach it. Okay, and then you can take out your first stitch marker. Okay. Okay. And then you just do your, oops, whatever stitch you're going to do. Stitch up both both sides. And then we can get on to doing the sleeves. And the sleeves are really easy, believe it or not. Because you're not going to do the sleeves in um, in separate pieces. You're going to do them right on the actual sweater. So, okay. So, yeah, just go in and finish off these, and I will meet back with you when I've done both sides. Okay, so I've seamed up both of my sides. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put it right side out. Okay. All right, now you got to figure out what you're going to use for your sleeves. Um, if whether or not you're going to use a solid color or or whatnot. I'm going to use a solid color. Uh, I'm going to be using the Eco Brights. Now, this is a Michaels brand and it's no longer... Um, I, I don't know if it, they're discontinuing it or if they are going to bring it back later or what, but I know that they're on sale right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they are being blitzed out, basically. It's like... But the um, Crim Cotton is very similar. So if you have any of that in your stash or, you know... Um, yeah. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Like, it, I'm going to be using two strands of the Eco Brights just to make it a bit thicker. Um, but you can definitely use a thicker weight yarn. Okay. So now we're... Where's my arm? There it is. Okay. Let's see if I can bring you out a little bit. Okay. So here we go. Here's our arm. So you're going to go down to the bottom. This is where your armpit's going to be. Okay. And you're going to start, there we go, you're going to start right in here, okay, oops, get our yarn ready here, okay, you're going to attach your yarn, oop, okay, <laughs> let's try that again, you're going to attach your yarn, don't fight with me. and pull it to the side. Now you're going to put a V-stitch, whoops, a V-stitch in this hole. So you're going to chain up two, or sorry, chain up three, because that's going to be the start of your, your it's going to be the one side of your V-stitch and your chain. Okay, yarn over, go in and do another double crochet into that stitch. Okay, and then you got your first V-stitch. You're going to go over to your next 
V-stitch. Oops, where's my V-stitches? Or sorry, you're not gonna. Oop. You're not gonna have any V-stitches here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into these big holes. Okay, you're gonna have these big holes all along the side. So you're gonna go into that big hole and you're gonna do a V-stitch. Okay, go to the next one and do a V-stitch. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, go to the next one, do a V-stitch. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way around and then I'll meet you when you get back over here. Okay, I'm back to the armpit area. I have one more space, so I'm going to do my V-stitch. And then I'm going to get these out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to go into this V-stitch right in here and slip stitch. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to going to want to count how many V's you have. Okay, and jot it down because you're going to want the same amount on your other sleeve. Okay? And then you're going to continue on. So you're in your first V stitch already. So you're going to chain up four because that's your double crochet and your chain. Go in and do your double crochet and that's your first V stitch. Okay, go into your next V stitch and do a V stitch. Go into your next V stitch and just do this all the way around. And this is the way that you're going to complete your sleeve. You're going to keep going and do it as long as you need. Keep trying it on. And like you're going to have the option. If you want an open sleeve, then crochet until it's down to wherever you want it to sit. If you want a cuff, you're going to want to crochet until it's about here on your wrist because you're going to want to have about three inches, two to three inches, depending on how big you want your cuff for that space. Okay. So, keep on going all the way around. And don't forget, when you're at the beginning, you always chain, or you always slip stitch into that first V. Okay, and then you chain up four. And you do that every row. And you keep going around and around and around until you get it to where you want it, okay? And um, when you get it down to that point, I will meet you back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I've finished both of my, um, my sleeves. We're in the home stretch, guys, yay! Okay, so you have either finished your sleeve off like this and you've made it long enough and you're done your sleeve or you're going to be moving on to the cuff and you've made your sleeve uh, a couple inches above your wrist and uh, you're moving on okay so here we go oops where's my okay I'm 
I'm going to, this is the underneath where your armpit is. I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our multi strands again, our, our original base color for this sweater. And you can either do it in white or you can do it in the multi. Whatever. You do you. Okay, and you're going to put your, attach your yarn. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to chain up one. I like to weave over my ends. Okay. So what you're going to do is this one counts. Okay. So we're going to crochet, double crochet, three more. One, go in the V-stitch. Two. Three. One, two, three, four. Okay, and in the fifth one, you're going to do a decrease. Okay, so you're going to go in. You're going to pull up. Pull through two, then you're going to go back in to the next stitch. You got three on your hook, you're going to pull through all three. Okay. Do this again. Go in the V, do one. Next stitch, it's two. Next V stitch, that's three. Next stitch, that's four. And in the fifth stitch, we're going to do a V stitch, or I mean a, a decrease. Oh, we have a fly again. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go into the stitch. You're going to pull through the first two. Oops, don't yarn over <laughs> like I was about to do. Go into the next stitch, pull up. You've got three on your hook. You're going to pull through all three. Okay. All right. Then you're going to continue on. Do, whoops. Do one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. Oh, this sweater is awfully big. I have to turn it. <laughs> okay, continue on doing that all the way until you get to the end, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I'm all the way around, and now what I've done, what I do is I try and figure out if I have enough stitches to do the front posts and back posts to make it even. Okay. So I look at my stitches and I always start with the front post when I'm doing my front post, back post. Okay, so our next round is going to be a round of double crochets. Okay, but you can tell before you do that, you can tell right away if it's going to work out. So I start with my first stitch and I go, okay, that's a front post. That's going to be a back post, front post back post, front post, back post. And I do that all the way around. This stitch, this first stitch here, is always going to be go to the back. Okay? So you want to end your stitches on a front post. Does that make sense? Okay? So I went front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Front, back, 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 oops, front, back, front, back, front, back. Uh, did I do that right? And then this will be the front. Okay, so I've got enough stitches to make sure that it's all going to work out. Okay. So I'm going to slip stitch, chain up two, 
Okay, then go into the next and just start doing your double crochet round. Okay, and you can count them this way too. <coughs> you know, this one will be your front post. This one will be your back post. Front post will be, that will be your back post. You can do it that way too if you want. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing double crochets all the way around until you get to the end. Oop. Come on. Okay, and I'll meet you when you get back over here. Okay, so I've gone around my row and I'm going to slip stitch into that top stitch on our first double crochet. Okay, chain up two. All right, now you're going to start your front post and back post rounds. All right, so you go into your next one, that's going to be your front post. Go underneath that stitch, pull your yarn through, pull up, go through two, go through two. Okay, and then you go in behind, oops, go in behind, pull your hook up and over that stitch, pull it through, go through two, go through two. Okay, and then you do a front post stitch. And back post stitch. Okay, and front post stitch. And you just keep alternating front post, back post, front post, back post until you get to the end. Okay. And this is going to start to close in and make your cuff. Okay. Post, whoops, and back post. Okay. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the front post and back post. Okay. All right. So continue doing that, that same round for as long as you want your cuff. Okay. And then fasten off and do the other side exactly the same way that you did this side. Okay. Start with your decrease rounds, then your double crochet round, and then your front post, back post rounds. Okay. I'll see you when we get back. Okay, everybody, my cuffs are finished. I did five rows of um, front post, back post to make my cuff. Uh, so now we're on to our collar. Woohoo! Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Okay, you're going to start at the bottom of one of your sides. You're going to, I'm going to do um, the same white that I did in my, in my um, sleeve. I'm going to do the same for this collar. But you can do it, you know, in either, either in your main body part um, yarn or your sleeve yarn. Doesn't matter. Okay. We'll get you in closer here. Okay. So we're going to start right in here. We're going to oops, attach our yarn. Okay. And oops, what did I do here? Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do two double crochet, or we want to have two double crochets in each of these stitches, like 
these big stitches, we're going to have two. Okay, so you, that's counted as one. We're going to do another double crochet right here. That's a half double. <laughs> okay, there. Okay. Then we're going to put one double crochet right in here. You just kind of fit them where you can. Go into the big space. Put two double crochets in there. Go into the smaller space right here. Do one double crochet. And you can do this any way you want. Um, I just find that if I don't put like two, at least two in the big spaces, it will pucker and it will, you'll lose your length in your, um, in your collar. Okay. Put two double crochets in the big space. Go into this one space here, put one double crochet. Go into the big space, put two. And you keep going all the way around to the other side. Okay? And I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, I am at the end. Oops, I'll bring you out a little bit. I'm at the end of my row. Now all you have to do is chain up two, turn your work, and go back the other way. <clears throat> now you can do as many rows as you want of this. For your collar. I'm going to do maybe two rows. Now what you want to do at this point is you want to try it on and you want to look in the mirror. You want to make sure that the bottom of your sweater isn't going up like this. Okay because if it is that means that these stitches are too tight or you don't have enough of them. Okay so if you if you find that your your um, bottom is coming up like this then that's not good. So take it all out again and put in maybe two of two stitches here, two stitches here, two stitches, and do it that way. Um, or maybe go up a, a size in your hook. Uh, maybe go up a couple sizes in your hook. Uh, but then also make sure that it's not going to buckle, like it's not going to pucker, and you're not going to have too many stitches or too uh, too big a hook. Okay, so once you've figured that out, then you can go back and you can do as many rows as you want for your um, collar, and you're done. Yay! You did it! <laughs> See, it wasn't that terrible, was it? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, there's going to be many more and different variations. Okay, um, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, love you all. Bye!